Hi guys, welcome to this video about solving word problems part 2. So if you didn't know, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I do have part 1 of how to solve word problems in order to ace a HESI. So I have some questions and I'm going to show you how to solve them. The questions that I'm going to show you are very similar to what you're going to get in the actual HESI math portion of the test. And so I feel like it will be very helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions, any comments, just comment down below. So first question says, last night at the hospital, 76 babies were born. Of these births, of the 76 babies, 45% of them were girls. So the question asks, how many boys were born last night? So we want to know how many boys. So in total, there is 76. So the first thing, um, also here we're dealing with percentages problems. And again, I have another video regarding percentages and how to solve those specific problems. So if you find these type of questions hard, just go and watch the video. So I'll link it down below too. So what you have to do first is 45%. Percent means 100, out of 100. So anytime you see a number and percent, I would write the number. And right below, I would write the number 100. So 45% off. Whenever you see this word off, it means you have to multiply it with the total, with the total number, right? So 45% off 70. Six babies so of means multiplication of 76 in total babies. Now you'll have a calculator in the math portion, so you just take the put it put whatever you have in the calculator. And I already did this, and what I get is um, 45 percent is 0 0.45 multiply by 76 which is 34.2 now this is the amount of girls okay this is the amount of girls so now to find the amount of boys we will subtract it from the total so this is girls so 76 minus 34.2 will give me 41.8 eight boys now obviously there can't be 41.8 boys right so you will just have to round it they will probably ask you to round it which will be closer to 42 boys this is your answer very straightforward question you just need to understand how percentages work question number two says a man is reading a thick book. Um, if he reads two chapters a day, how long? This is the question. How long will it take him to read the book if there are six pages per chapter and 797 pages in total? So the first thing to figure out is to see how many pages does he actually read in a day, right? Pages read in a day. So... What you have to do is first of all he writes two he reads two chapters okay and in each chapter there's six pages so six pages and he reads two chapters right six pages if you guys want to see it nicely there we go so 12 pages read in a day cool and the question it says how long will it take to uh, will it take him to read if there is 797 pages in total so now that you have this this is every day what you have to do is in total there's 797 divided by 12 pages you put that in the calculator again very easily you will get 66.42 pages again you can't read 66.42 
so you will have to round it and it will tell you so there's no need to worry about that so 66 pages read okay very easy let's read it forward again question number three a library contains uh, 67,982 books and the children's section represents one-third of the total books. Of the remaining books, 75% are fiction. So how many are in the fiction section? So we want to know how many books are in this section, the fiction one. So this is the total. Again, this is percent, so you need to understand the concept. We already did that in question number one, so this has to be easier. Okay, so one-third of the total are the children's section. So we have to do that first, right? Take it step by step. So total, one-third is children's. Put that in the calculator, you divide it by three right and you get 22,660 books that are children but it's it actually says of the remaining books so this is children of the remaining so we have to subtract this with this so 67,982 minus 22,660 Right, that's off the remaining. You subtract that in the calculator, you'll get forty five thousand three hundred twenty two books. Now, of the remaining books, so this is what we're talking about now, seventy five percent are fiction. So seventy five percent again, what does it mean? Percent you divide it by hundred. So off again of multiply it of the total, right? You put that in the calculator, you will get 33,991 books that are fiction. Done. So we did three steps. First was here to divide, to multiply it by one third, subtract it, and then do the actual percentage questions. So do it step by step. Question number four. The physician tells a woman who usually drinks five cups of coffee daily to cut down her consumption by 75%. How many ounces of coffee is she allowed daily? So as you see, first here we have cups and then here we have ounces. So obviously we cannot work with two different units. We have to put it in one unit, the same unit. So again, if you guys are not familiarized with um, your units, I do and conversions, I do have another video of conversions which I show you all the conversions you need to know how to in order to how to pass the SE. So it's very important to know because there are many questions of conversions. So um if you know the conversions it will be very easy. So you say that there's one in one cup there's actually eight ounces. Okay? And then you have five cups. So you just put right below it where it belongs. We're talking about cups in this left side of the portion and ounces in the right side of the portion. So how many ounces will be your X? X ounces, okay? So what you do is you cross multiply it. And you say 8 multiplied by 5. 1 multiplied by x. So x will be 40 ounces. So that's the amount of ounces. But that's not the what the question as, is asking. The question is asking um, that the physician told the woman to cut down her consumption by 75%. So what we do is 75% divided by 100 of the total of 40 ounces. You put that in the calculator, 0 0.75 multiplied by 40 uh, will be 30. Okay, this is what you have to cut. What you have to cut. So how many ounces is she allowed? This is If this is what she has to cut, then out of the 40 ounces minus 30 ounces, 
she is allowed to drink 10 ounces. Okay? Question number five says, there is 48 students in a class. Seven out of eight are females. What percent are females? So 48 students is total and seven out of eight are females. So what we have to do here is seven out of eight, right, um, are females in total. So multiply, sorry, you multiply by the total amount, which is 48 students. 7 divided by 8 and then multiply by 48 is 42 females. But you do not stop here because it says what percent. So percent, how do you find it? Whatever the amount that you have, 42 females of the total, which is 48 students in total. And then, because it's asking you percent, you multiply it by 100. Right? Remember the 100? That's where the 100 comes. Um, so, you put that in the calculator, you get 87.5% of the total are females. And lastly, this is my last question problem. It says, a ride requires you to be 48 inches. What high would be would that be in feet? So this is a very, very simple. Again, you need to know the conversions. Look at my video of conversions. I'll link it down below. Um, but what the conversion says is that in one feet, there is 12 inches. So again, um, you need to put wherever you have the information, what information you have. You have 48 inches as your information so you put it on the right side because that's, that is where the inches is taking place right so 48 inches is what you know but you want to know how many feet is 48 inches again the next step is to cross multiply which will be 48 multiplied by 1 the other side will be 12 multiplied by x so 48 divided by 12 will be 4 feet as your answer. So this is how tall you have to be to be allowed in the right. And that's it with the questions. Again, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like my videos and I will be putting all the videos that I mentioned throughout the videos uh, throughout the video down below. So don't forget to check those out. Thank you.